Hello and welcome guys to this series on Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. In this video, I will walk you through the steps to build an echo chatbot using Microsoft Bot Framework SDK and test it using Bot Framework Emulator. Echo chatbot is a simple chatbot that replies whatever the user has input to it as text. The Bot Framework SDK is a framework provided by Microsoft for developers to build conversational applications. These applications can be built in Python, Java, JavaScript, and c -sharp. The Microsoft Bot Framework Emulator is a desktop application that is used to test these chatbots, be it locally or even remote. Whatever concepts that we learn today would be used in part two of this video series to build PII detection bot or personally identifiable information detection bot that will be hosted as a web application over Microsoft Azure Cloud. For building the Echo Chatbot, the prerequisite would be the installation of Python 3.x version and a bot framework emulator installed over your machines. All the resources used in this video along with the steps followed and the commands that I used would be present over the GitHub account that would be linked in the description of this video. Let's get started with building the Echo Bot. I'm inside my Jupyter and I will be firing up the Jupyter Terminal. The first step that we will be following would be installation of certain dependencies that are utilized in building the chatbot. So we'll type in the command to install these dependencies. So it would be pip install bot builder hyphen core async io aio http space and a specific version of cookie cutter that would be 1.7.0 these dependencies like the bot builder core would be used to build these chatbots and exchange messages between users and the channels supported by the bot framework SDK, like Facebook Messenger, etc. The async IO stands for asynchronous input output and is used for asynchronous communication and multiplexing over WebSockets. The AIO HTTP is used for HTTP communication between client and a server and also helps us in WebSocket communication. The cookie cutter is a command line utility that helps us to build Python projects from the templates given. Let's install these dependencies. For me, the requirements are already satisfied because my Conda distribution has these dependencies already installed. For you, it might take a couple of minutes to build these dependencies. The second command that we would be typing is cookie cutter https colon high slash slash github dot com slash microsoft slash bot builder hyphen samples slash releases slash download slash templates slash echo dot zip as mentioned above cookie cutter is used to build python projects from the given templates so we would be downloading this template that is present over the repository of microsoft as samples for building bot builder this resources would be present in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and download this template. 
It will prompt you to enter a bot name that would be utilized by the chatbot. Let's name it as Echo Bot. And the description for this bot would be a bot that replies user input. That's what it does. Let's hit enter. And if we check now, an echo bot is downloaded. Let's go over the content of this echo bot inside the editor of your choice. I would be using a VS code for it. Is opened up. Hope you're able to see it. So this echo bot has been dev downloaded, and the for certain files that we need to go through is the requirements.txt. This file is used to install the dependencies that are necessary to run this project. And here we would be downloading bot builder integration AI O H T T P. As the name suggests, it's an integration between the bot builder and the AIO HTTP dependency. So it's used for an integration of the bot with the web application. Another file that's of interest is config.py. This Python file in the later video of the second part of this video, I'd say, would be used to provide environment variables or configurations that will help us to connect this bot to Azure Cloud. We will go through this in the next video. Another file of interest would be, let's zoom out a bit to see, would be this MyBot. This MyBot has actually two primary functions that are on message activity and on members added activity. On members added activity is a function that gets called whenever this bot boots up or a user gets added to this bot. And for every user added, it will send an activity to output to the console or the bot. Let's change this uh, so that we are pretty sure that this message is getting uh, popped up whenever we test this chatbot. Let's say echo but hello and welcome to echo bot the second function of interest would be on message activity whenever this function gets called whenever the user inputs any text to this chatbot so as it's a echo chatbot whatever the context of is the input by the user is output by the chatbot that's what an echo chatbot does so as we will change this message so that we're pretty sure that it's us that's saying it as a user, you set, right? And after that, let's put a colon. Let's save this file. The main Python file would be this app.py. This is the function that inputs all the dependencies that we have installed, like AI http bot builder core the integration and gets my bot and the config and it helps us to build a function that catches any error that's put across by this bot creates an object of the bot that we did in bot.py and whatever incoming messages over this endpoint API slash messages comes in, it does an activity on top of it. The other files that are present in this would be pylint rc and initialization py. Okay, this deployment templates folder is of uh, not much use in this video, but in the second video that we would be where we would be developing a web application for a PII detection bot, it, this, these folders would be very important. Let's make sure we save this file and 
go back to the terminal. Now let's cd into the echo bot. Here we would install the dependencies that are present inside requirements or requirements txt file. Let's enter and it would install the bot builder integration with AI, AIO HTTP. To start this bot, we have to run the file that we saw in the VS code that was app.py. So we we'll hit the command python app.py. Hit enter. If everything goes well, we should see this message that our bot is running over localhost HTTP 3978 port. To test this bot, let's bring up the bot framework emulator. Once this bot framework emulator starts up, click on open bot. It will give you a pop-up. Enter the URL HTTP localhost 3978 that we saw in the terminal followed by API slash messages and hit connect button. Once it's connect, see the message that gets popped up. Hello and welcome to EchoBot. This is what we said in on members added activity. Let's test our bot and uh, type something. Uh, hello, this is an echo bot. And once we hit enter, the on message activity gets called and the bot replies us with an echo. That as a user, you said hello, this is an echo bot. Similarly, we can say thanks for building this bot. That's all. So these are the steps that we can follow to build the echo chatbot. And these concepts and the extension of these concepts would be used to build a PII detection bot, which would be hosted as a web application on Microsoft Azure Cloud. That would be the part two of this video series. If you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel that gives the motivation for it and i would be glad to connect over github and linkedin all these resources would be present in the description of this video thanks for watching take care